Hola, I feel like I always do this. <laughs> Hola, bienvenidos to my channel. My name is Alexius. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So this video is going to be very casual because I'm really just talking to myself, my future self. I just want to put this video on YouTube so it's memorialized in a place. But today I'm going to be doing my makeup. My husband and I are going to dinner tonight for my birthday that is on April 27th. I'm trying to upload this on my birthday so happy birthday to me because it's my birthday. And my hair is still wet, sorry, but I have some feelings about my upcoming birthday. I am turning 26, so I'm officially over the cusp of my 20s, which is just crazy to me because I feel like I'm still like 21. It's insane. Like, I just can't believe I'm 26. I'm like this close to 30. I have no structure for this video. I literally just wrote five things on a post-it note just so I can like know the things that I want to touch on and how I feel about them. Starting kind of light. I'm going to be talking about fashion, dressing, clothing, what have you. So, and for my makeup, um, I'm just going to apply my makeup. I won't really talk about what I'm doing, but I will list all the products that I'm using down below. I am so torn on my style at this point as, as a 26 year old, as a 26 year old, because I love, because I love my body. I love the way that I look and I want to explore that with clothing. But at the same time, I'm at this point in life where I kind of feel a little silly and I'm specifically talking about like crop tops, short dresses, short skirts. On one side, I feel like you're young a lot less time than you're old. So you should be able to be proud of your body without feeling like you're too old to be dressing a certain type of way. And Logically, I know that in my head. I'm like, I'm grown. I can wear what I want. I have my belly ring. I'm gonna wear my crop tops, you know. That's how I feel. But on the other hand, I put on those clothing and I'm like, I feel silly. Like, am I too old? I'm 26. Am I too old? I'm just torn every time I get dressed or even when I'm shopping. Like, I'll love something and I'll buy it and then I'll get it in to wear and just kind of feel a little silly or childish. And I shouldn't feel that way because I look good. Yeah, I'm gonna show these abs. Yeah, I'm gonna show this, this, this ass and these jeans, you know what I'm saying? I work hard for this booty. I want to show it. And also, too, my body type, I'm a very slender person. And I do not look good in loose fitting, you know, covered up clothing. That's kind of like a petty little thing, but like I said, I wanted to just kind of start light on the topics and just kind of work my way from there. Pretty much, I don't know how the hell I want to dress. You know, I'm 26, what does that mean? And then also too, you know, when people have kids, everyone is shamed for dressing a certain type of way when you have children and it's like does your life end when you have kids and now that i'm getting older and getting closer to the point where i think i want kids i'm like am i really going to be expected to wear granny panties at the beach just because i have a kid because i like these cheeks to be out it's like another thing that i'll have to deal with it's like you get dug deeper and deeper into this hole. You have to be a certain way. You have to act a certain way to be respected as a woman. Next thing I want to talk about is career. So I just graduated college for the second time in August of last year, so 2020, with a nursing degree. And before, 
I had a degree that took the same amount of time as a veterinary technician. Pretty much the same thing, but they do not get respect like human nurses do. No one really knows what that job is. So I kind of felt a little unfulfilled. Not that you should feel your worth based on what society thinks your job is, but I just felt you know, there was no respect. The pay was terrible. I didn't feel the way that I thought I was going to feel when I graduated college and had a college degree. So I went back to school and I'm now a labor and delivery nurse and I absolutely love it. And it doesn't hurt that the money is great and it's a very well respected field. So I just feel finally like I'm in a place that I already should have felt like before like inside I was so proud of my last job and so just you know I felt great after I graduated working with animals because that was that's my passion working with animals and I still do but um now I can feel that outwardly because when you tell people that you're a nurse they're just like oh wow every single time you kind of Finally, I'm in a career where I feel like I am compensated fairly. Um, it's a well-respected field, even though it's been a hard year for nurses and for everyone. But I feel like a lot of, of my peers struggle with their career because we all either have been out of college for a few years or have just gotten out of college and you know people are buying homes getting married and i feel like a lot of people feel inadequate because of our society bases so much of your worth on what you do for work i feel like that adds to the existential crisis that you hit when you get to you know 25 26 and you may not be where you feel like you should be or where you want to be in life so you just feel kind of out of place and like you are behind everyone else because when I was in college, obviously I just graduated. So I was in college at 25 and I felt very behind because even though I knew that I'd graduated college already, I already had a degree, I had already had a job, you know, I was married, blah, blah, blah. The fact that I was in college again and having a change of careers, I kind of felt like I was starting over and I was behind everyone and that just really messed with my self-confidence and I did feel really inadequate even though I knew that I was going to school for something that would pay off in the end and it has and I'm so grateful that I made that plunge to re-enroll in school. Next thing that I want to talk about is just feeling behind on things that you want to do and there was things that I wanted to do post school the first time that had to be put on hold because I was going back to school for nursing and that was traveling learning a language when I joined nursing school I had to put all those on hold and then now that I've graduated school I feel like I'm trying to cram all of these things into a short amount of time because in my head I'm like okay we need to have kids who are 26 year old it's time to have children even though I'm a labor and delivery nurse I know that I have plenty of patients probably more patients than not who are in their 30s and it's fine people have children in their 30s that's kind of normal now but my husband is 16 years older than I am so not only am I feeling the stress of myself getting older and not wanting to be a geriatric mom, I also feel the stress of him getting older and not wanting to be new parents. And my husband, you know, is a lot older. So I have like double stress and my husband's not worried at all. He's like, it's fine, I don't care. But I'm like, I care. I mean, I don't want my kid to be graduating high school with like an 80 year old dad. Life is it's just too quick. It's going too fast. I feel like I can't keep up. And Spanish right now is a huge passion of mine. Like I really, really, really want to learn 
a language. I would love to become fluent in Spanish, but I know, you know, at this point in life, I would just like to be semi-conversational, but that is like a huge passion of mine. It's something that I try and spend a lot of time, you know, practicing, learning, studying Spanish. And I just feel like I could have been so much further if I was able to, instead of go to school for nursing, go to school for Spanish. You know, those two and a half years that I was focusing on nursing, I could have been focusing on Spanish. It is so hard to learn languages the older you get. Our brains, they get stuck in their ways and you know, it's hard for you to learn language. Brains getting old and crusty and dusty. The next thing, I kind of already touched on it. Oh, and I wrote on here YouTube as well. That was all, always something that I was interested in doing. And once I got settled in life, I was going to start a YouTube channel. I feel like, again, that's something that I'm behind on. I missed out on time of you know sharing my life and sharing my experiences and that's what I love about YouTube and the reason I wanted to start it was because I love the thought of having these videos years from now and being able to look back on them and look at your experiences and see how you've grown and also to the community that a lot of YouTubers have with people that watch their videos like I think that is just so sweet honestly it's a, be a beautiful thing like you start to learn these people that you've never met and they watch your videos and you guys just share common interests and talk about stuff so i wanted to start youtube i already kind of touched on this part before but the next little thing i wanted to talk about was children you're never really ready to have children you kind of just gotta do it and be done with it but i want to have a kid and feel happy that I was able to do the things that I wanted to do so there's no resentment there and I know a lot of parents trying to act like it's just impossible for you to resent your own children but trust me you can and a lot of people do no one will say it because you get attacked if you even utter the fact that you know you hold harbor some resentment towards your child which is not their fault at all so they have absolutely no say so in the fact that you got pregnant with them and brought them into the world but you know we're human and you feel like you missed out on experiences because you got pregnant and had a kid and i think having children is a beautiful thing and i want to fully enjoy that as a mom and feel like i have a child I did everything that I wanted to do before I had my child, or at least a lot of things, and then we will explore a lot of stuff together as a family. But I just wanna feel fulfilled in myself and in my own life before, before I have a child. Because once you become a mom, it's no longer about you, it's about this little person that you're taking care of. And I just want to be there completely as a mother after I have been there completely for myself. I really just want to make sure I feel whole as a person and then I can feel whole as a mom. So the last thing that I want to talk about is money. I struggled, I won't say struggled, it wasn't that bad, I didn't have like fifty thousand dollars in credit card debt but you know I had more credit card debt than what I was comfortable with and when I graduated school my, one of my goals was to completely get rid of my credit card debt and I started really tackling it in November of 2020 last year and now the week before my birthday I am completely credit card debt free. I get the applause from the audience and I just feel so good. Like it just literally feels like a 
weight has been lifted off of me. Like I felt so weighed down by that. I didn't even feel good saving money because I'm like, how can you be saving money when you owe a debt? You know, and I know you can do both at the same time, but I was putting, you know, I was splitting my money between my savings account and my credit card debt. And I was like, why don't you just stop saving for a moment, dump all of your money into your credit card. And I even took a good chunk of my savings and just put it to my credit card. I got glitter all over my face. Ugh. Once it got closer to my birthday, it was really important for me to go into this other side of my 20s credit card debt free and now that i'm credit card debt free i can start dumping money into my savings account my goal is five thousand in three months i have my roth ira so once i reach my five thousand dollar savings goal i'm going to max out my roth ira account I think it's important married or not for you to be financially safe for yourself you just never know what can happen so 2021 is the year of the dollar for me the, the crisis part of the whole thing is just the fact that I'm really going hard at this point in my life because you're young and you just kind of feel like you have your whole life to save money and you're not really worried about it so much but this time passes by so fast like the Roth IRA for example I have been telling myself for forever like you need to start a Roth IRA it's just one of those things that you don't really think about very important that you start it younger because when you're older it's not as beneficial for you anymore because the money grows the longer you have it so if you start it when you're 40 and you're only gonna work you know 20 more years it's not as beneficial as you starting in your 20s. The younger you are, the better. Please, if you're watching this video, click off this video. Go to any website that has Roth IRA. I have Charles Schwab. Go to a website. It takes five minutes. I was honestly embarrassed when I did start mine, how fast it was, how quick of a process it was. I was ashamed because I was like you could have done this and I had been telling myself please do this please do this and it just kind of kept getting pushed by the wayside start a Roth IRA right now even if you only contribute a little bit if you start it now just just do it and I've been talking for so long I'm pretty sure I've just been rambling this whole time but I'm about to do my brows and put on lipstick and blush and mascara I really just wanted to do this video. I felt like today was a good day because I have to do my makeup and I'm going out for my birthday dinner. So it was a good time for me to talk about things that have been on my mind regarding my birthday. So I'm sure no one will watch this or I don't know, but if it does, I hope. I hope that this is resonating with you or you relate to some way or if it's helping you at all. I just really wanted to, like I said in the beginning, put this up for my future self. So, you know, when I'm 29, I'll maybe make another one for my 30th and I can laugh at the things that I'm feeling now when I'm 29 turning 30. I'm not scared of aging. Aging is a beautiful thing. And I honestly, like, I am not wise. Like, I'm 26. I still have so much stuff to learn. But it is amazing how more comfortable I feel with myself than what I did when I was 18, 19, even 21. Like, time really, I, I'm just so much more, I'm so much more confident in myself. I view things completely different than I did when I was 18, but I did also for my future self. Hello, future self. I did want to talk about something that happened this week and my thoughts surrounding it. George Floyd's murderer was convicted of murder. I think on 
like three counts of murder this week or last week I think and I thought that I would feel so much joy and relief because he was convicted and someone finally is going to suffer consequences from their actions regarding the lives of black men, black people in general. But, or I should say people of color, but feel just so much relief. I didn't feel anything. And I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but it's like, that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't even muster up like fake over, a fake over joyous reaction because I was just like, it is so sad that we are so happy that someone is being convicted of murder when they murdered someone. So I just had a really hard time being as happy as I felt like I should have been because I was just like, yeah, that's, that's what's supposed to happen. And I know because people get away with police brutality a lot that, you know, people are excited because finally something is coming of someone losing their lives at the hand of police. But it's just like, it should not be this way. It's 2021. And on top of that, like the social media activism is starting to not sit right with me because like I said, I was really having to struggle to seem like I was so completely overjoyed. And one of those things that I was, I was like, oh, you need to post on Instagram now. Everyone's making a post about it on Instagram. Everyone's posting on their stories about it. And I was just like, no, I'm not. Because I feel like the social media activism is becoming too much. Like you post something on your story and you feel that validation that you did something when you really didn't. I also felt guilty for not posting something because I, I thought, oh my gosh, if I don't post anything, people will think that I don't care. People will think that blah, blah, blah. I hate the way that that has become a thing. I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with my spirit to be feeling so validated in yourself and in your ego because you posted something on a story. That took literally three seconds so i decided to just talk about it at the end of this video because like i said i'm memorializing how i feel in this moment you feel differently than me like i said i'm still figuring this whole thing out with this social media activism thing so let me know if you think you know it's good to post about it or if you feel the same way that i do or i don't know Maybe I'm wrong and maybe someone will tell me something and then I'll, you know, I'll start back. I don't know which lip to wear. I have Lolita and Sanctuary. This is more of like a warm nude. This is a cool tone nude. Maybe I'll do the warm since my eyes are kind of bronzy. Yeah, I'll wear Lolita. Oh, I just feel like a little wash. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. It looks really cool toned on camera, I think, because of the lighting, but I don't look that cool in person. All right, I gotta do my hair. But I will end this video here. If you stuck around this whole time, oh my gosh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have some thoughts below, I would love to start a little chat in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos. If you have any video ideas that you want me to do, just leave them down below, cause I definitely need some ideas. I have a haul that I wanna do for all the things that I bought for my birthday and then we're traveling. So those will be videos, but I really struggle with video ideas so please 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 if there's anything that you want to see definitely leave a comment but other than that thank you so much for watching it's my birthday i hate myself